Hi, in this video we'll see how to format a row based on a cell value. We have a table containing some invoices of our company issued to our customers and we have the invoice date, amount and due date. Let's say that we are on 1st of June and we want to see at this moment which of our customer is an overdue. So for this we will make a simple difference between today and due date. Some of our customers got 30 days payment term and some of our customers got 45 or even 60 days payment term. That's why our finance department must be very carefully and contact our customer or our customers depends on our this our table where we can see the overdue days. So we will start calcul to calculate the overdue days by select after write equal we will select 1st of June and we will freeze by press F4 from keyboard minus due date and hit enter and now as you can see I got 103 days overdue because this invoice was issued on 20 January and the due date was 19 of February 19 February and now we are on the 1st of June that means there are more than three months overdue. I will autofill by double click on the bottom right of the cell to obtain the other overdue days. As you can see we have some rows with negative values that means this invoice, these invoices are not yet due. So we are okay with this customer probably our finance department will not call them. So, in this moment we will focus on our rows containing overdue days, on our cells containing overdue days, but to be more readable and to be more easy to know on which customer should we focus, we will try to format the rows and give them a color that will represent the priority in order to call them efficiently. So uh, I will come back to the formula because as you can see I put the dollar by pressing F4 from the keyboard in order to freeze cell G1. So on each row I will click, I see that I made the difference between G1 and E6 in this case, G1 and E8 in this case. So now let's come back to our target. So we want colors from our rows depends on value from F column and let's say that we want the row to be a red color if the value of overdue days is greater than 10 days and also if it's less than 5 we want to be orange and if it's less than zero we want to be green because 
the green color must tell us that everything is ok for the moment in terms of overdue. So we will start by select the first row going to home tab on the right, on top right we have conditional formatting and we have a drop down menu here we'll go to new rule and on the new formatting rule window we have six options and we will go on the last one use a formula to determine which cells to format we'll click this and then we have a tab where we must write our formula based on values that we want in our case I want row number 2 to be red if the over the days it's greater than 10 so let's write or maybe we should use 5 days let's use 5 days to be more clear so equal I will put a dollar sign F2 greater than 5 so I put the reference dollar in front of F because I will copy then the formula so the number that will change will be the row number the column F will remain the same always and now I am going to format and I want to fill with red color click OK and here we go now I will go again to co conditional formatting and add new rule I will use the same option but this time I will write equal dollar sign F2 it's less than 5 let's say we want to be orange I will click OK and now the last rule user formula equal dollar sign F2 it's less than 0 then I want to be green ok now basically we have the third option finish finish so we have done in terms of setting rules now as we can see Excel put the red color on my table because 103 it's for sure greater than 5 now I will select this row and I will copy by using format painter and put on other rows as you can see now we have all the rows colored we have four days here that means it's not so bad but all with all cells with red means that the customer didn't pay too much time for sure if we will change the invoice date or the payment term let's say for this we will change to 90 days we are still on red because there are 43 days but if we put 160 Excel change the color to green because 
this customer in this moment on 1st of June he didn't enter in the overview so Excel can bring us many options in terms of conditional formatting if we just input the rules that we want to work with.